Now, last time I covered uh, Ducky keyboards, uh, I was, I have to admit, I was really impressed. And uh, I think with um, Computex 2023 and what I saw on their booth, I was again impressed. I got a tour and everything was perfect. And uh, I mean, the keyboards that were announced at uh, Computex were quite something else. So today we have something from that. This is Ducky Project D Tinker keyboard. This is 65% mechanical keyboard that is a bit different than you're used to. For instance, 60-65% keyboards don't have these legs at the back. Well, most of them, right? So we have two possibilities, well basically three angles if you count this part. So you have two additional possibilities with these legs at the bottom to raise it up. I don't have to mention that <laughs> all feet, including the legs, have rubber feet to keep the keyboard steady on your table. But regardless of that, this is just uh, one point that I immediately want to add and to give you some insights. In the box, we get USB Type-C cable, which is fairly long, it's braided and uh, it's quite nice. Uh, then we have the keyboard, logical. We have the switch remover and we have the keycap remover. So you get all of this inside the box, which is quite cool. And this means that the keyboard is hot swappable. We have PBT double shot keycaps. Cherry RGB brown switches that go up to 100 million actuation. Layout is 65% with QMK VIA uh, 5 pin hot swappable. Uh, we have gasket mount FR4 plate. And then we have south facing PCB with RGB LED. Detachable USB Type C with uh, frequency of 1000 Hz pulling rate. RGB lightning effects. And the cool thing is that you could grab this board bare bone, which provides you a possibility to place uh, switches uh, and keycaps to your desire, not buy it like stock. But the gasket mount is always what I'm interested in and uh, it's always cool to have that additional information. So we have the case, then we have the PCB, after that we have the plate which has uh, two gaskets uh, on each side, on top and bottom, and then we have the top frames. A form dampener is inserted between the top frame and the chassis. It also has Enki rollover and the total weight is 590 grams. Now on their official website you have software that will back up this keyboard. So you have loads of possibilities to configure the keycaps and what will their function be. But you also have some key functions with FN plus escape. Then we have the Fs from F1 to F12 with FN plus 1 till the end of uh, near the backspace. And backspace is basically a delete with FM plus, but you have a dedicated delete as well. Then we have RTY left, right, uh, top, uh, up and down, which means those are dedicated functions for RGB LED backlight. So you have uh, R for RGB toggle, then we have T for RGB mode plus or RGB mode minus is uh, Y. Then we have uh, effect speed plus and minus with left and right arrows and brightness up or down with arrows up or down. Now when we open the keyboard to check out the switches and everything, as already stated, we have Sherry MX uh, brown switches right here. And uh, the stabilizers are quite... I think they are pre-looped because I can't see from the uh, board right here. But they are so smooth when you press them down. And uh, let's check out something else. This will be quite interesting to see. Now the space bar is outstanding. So there's no, literally no wobbling whatsoever. We have the left shift, same thing. Right shift is so small that you won't even notice. I mean, there is no wobbliness, of course. Uh, enter, same thing. Backspace, same thing. So, all in all, I would say that the stabilization, even with, okay, the keycaps individual for the letters and the numbers is a bit wobbly, but that's just because of the switch. It doesn't have to do anything with the stabilizers or anything similar to that. But you already know that. So, let's check out the sound. I mean, after checking the sound and everything that I have to say about it is Ducky knows what they are doing. And in those terms, the, I can say that it's 
the sound is really pleasant there's no echoing and even all the keycaps that are longer bigger uh, they don't have that wobbliness it's really nice to type in all let's let's see exactly so in all positions because I tested it first in the highest position since I'm used to uh, raising the keyboard upwards uh, I, I mean what to say in all positions when we're talking about the keyboard raised up or lowered down to the table it's really nice to type and you don't have to worry about anything else uh, the stabilizers as I already stated they're outstanding and even though it's a 65% mechanical keyboard you can always use the FN button to use those shortcuts to reach to F1 to F12 to adjust the RGB lights and everything else when we take a look at uh, the RGB lights well first of all let's talk about the connection so you don't have a connection inside the board so you don't need any canals at the back it's straight here in the middle and that's all there is to it when you connect it of course automatically it starts with RGB madness and the FN button is placed quite nicely because for instance you want to change the RGB lights constantly or you want to do it on the go and FN is usually on this side let me just close this one and you want to you know change the colors and stuff like that FN is right here next to the arrows, which is definitely, uh, let's see, the brightness upwards, uh, is definitely handy because you do it with one hand. Usually the FN is on the left side and yeah, but on smaller keyboards, it's somewhere around here. And regardless of that, I think it's quite handy. The cool thing, since we don't have a see-through keycap since they're double shot PBT, uh, the plate beneath the keycaps is white so when the rgb starts to shine it really does create a nice effect here i mean i can't see that much from the soft boxes but it definitely does the job to enlighten the surroundings around the keycaps and plus the typing is really brilliant and i do have to say really loving the board because it's it's quite quite nice minim minimalistic i do have to say elegant in those terms if i can say that about the keyboard but uh, you do have some, I mean, half a kilo for a 65 keyboard. That's something interesting for sure. But uh, all in all, I think, as already stated a couple of times, it's a great board, without a doubt. So guys, if you're interested in something like this, and if you're looking for a 65% keyboard, definitely take into consideration this one, because I know Ducky does their job while building their boards, and they try to make everything perfect inside, to stop the echoing, to for stabilizers to have equal press on the complete spacebar or any other button that uses uh, stabilizers, uh, the typing experience is incredible, and I think you'll love it. To be honest, I think you'll love it. So yeah, there's that cherry RGB brown switches. I don't have to talk about them specifically because it, they've been covered a couple of million times. So there's that, but the keyboard is what we are looking for and what we're after. And that's all there is to it. The link is in the description as already stated. And finally, if you like this type of content and you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, click the notification bell. So you don't miss any future content coming from Daki. Um, I think quite shortly. So yeah, that'll be it for today. See you next time guys. Bye bye.